And in tonight's feed frenzy, both a rock star and a literary titan get a taste of what life is like for the rest of us mere mortals. And TV and music fans mourn the passing of a young talent as coroners try to understand exactly what ended his life. A forensic team in Vancouver is working on the autopsy of Glee star Corey Monty. After the 31-year-old actor was found dead this weekend in a hotel there, foul play has been ruled out. The toxicology reports that could determine whether he overdosed are expected in several days. Playing Finn Hudson, the quarterback with the voice of an angel, Monteith was a favorite among Gleeks, as the show's fans are known. But off screen, he has struggled with addiction for over a decade. And just three months ago, voluntarily returned to rehab with the sport of his TV and real life girlfriend, Leah Michelle. It was the curious case of the pseudonymous novel, a crime story called Cuckoo's Calling, written by a first timer, but reviewed with the kind of reverence reserved for best selling veterans. How could this Robert Galbraith have penned such a brilliant debut, wanted reporters, and after a bit of sleuthing, they understood why. Robert Galbraith is really J.K. Rowling, creator of the Harry Potter industrial complex. After being outed, Rowling said it has been a pure pleasure to get feedback from fans and critics unaware of her identity, and the book's Amazon sales have increased by over 500,000%. And Emily Krauss and her boyfriend are rushing to see the Dave Matthews Band in concert over the weekend when they spotted a stranded cyclist with a flat tire. They stopped, and good thing, because the guy with the flat was Dave Matthews. No word whether he sang Where Are You Going on the way to the show, but he did repay his Good Samaritan fans with front row seats. I woke up this morning and I said, okay, yeah, that really happened yesterday. <laughs> And the moral of the story, always pick up hitchhikers as long as they are Dave Matthews.